the same time. So yesterday he just gave the benefit of the practice and against a pretty expensive offensive line. Just having the, the skill on that side, what beneficial is it for your group? Yeah, I mean, it obviously helps out a lot. And, you know, last year going against them and, and this year, it, you know, makes the games easier. So we're really fortunate to have that. And, um, yeah, they're looking great so far. So it's going to be exciting to see how the year goes for them. I want to talk about playing faster because you're in year two. The fans, obviously, you've got way, way more than that. But can you get that sense that everybody that's back is kind of building on it? Yeah, 100%. I mean, everyone's been in it now for over a year. So, um, not a lot's changed at all. If anything, it's simplified. So we're we're in a really good spot, and uh, yeah, guys are picking it up fast. So we're, it's, a, it's a lot smoother than it was at this point last year. How do the new additions like Tom Roach and Josh Richards help in that defense line? It's huge. Yeah, I mean to have depth like that and, and guys who are playmakers, you know, helps a lot and um, definitely much needed. And we're really happy to have them. And yeah, I mean through the spring, and you know, it's only been two days, no pads. Um, they've looked really good, and I'm sure when we get the pads on. They'll look even better. So it's kind of an awkward time now when you don't have anything on. So we're looking forward to Monday. Sean, Sean talked about needing to be better consistently against the run. Obviously, it takes more than one thing to be good against the run. So, yeah. like, what, where specifically do you think, like, as a front line, you can get better in that regard over the first season? Yeah, I think we already have gotten better at it. I think it was just more kind of the style of play. And, you know, I've kind of talked about that already. Um, you know, and we made the necessary changes, and you know, I think Alex talked about it a little bit yesterday. So, um, yeah, I mean, you guys will see it, you know, next week live in action. So it, it, it's been going really well, and uh, yeah, and you know, kind of like he was saying, you know, having guys like JFM and you know Roach, you know, come in, you know, that obviously, you know, you guys, we have a lot more depth. So everything, every single snap, you know, we have guys that are playing it the right way. With with JFM, how familiar with this game were you before he got here? Yeah, no, we talked, uh, we've known each other for a couple of years now, um, kind of always joking about playing with each other. So I've known him, you know, I've known, been watching him for a while and then, you know, see it up close and, you know, kind of talk to him about it. It's, it's cool because we see the game the same way. So kind of that whole like learning period um, of playing with a guy opposite you. I mean, we didn't really have that. It was pretty smooth sailing. Um, so that, that's pretty rare to have, and to have that's huge. So we've kind of hit the ground running so far with it. What playing style? How how would you compare your guys' games? How they complement each other? Yeah, I'd say pretty similar. Um, you know, you know, guys that want to just get off the ball, get vertical, kind of you know run our track. Um, you know, we've played in kind of similar defenses in the past, so I think that's kind of why we see the game that way. And uh, you know, we've had success playing that way, so that's why we just want to keep it that way. I remember a few weeks ago you mentioned how this defense is more a true Vance Joseph defense. Like for you, what are the calling cards of a Vance Joseph defense? Yeah, I think it's just aggressive and attacking, and I think you know we're definitely there, and it's not just up front. You know, it's all three levels, and guys are really bought into that now. And um, you know, new coaches we brought up, brought in really you know kind of believe in that. So. Um, yeah, I mean, we have everybody on board, which is what you want. You know, 100% buy-in. So um, that's the big thing. As you're going into, you know, year six, I mean, you're a high-motor guy. Do you change your approach to training camp at all, though, just knowing what it takes to get through the year? No, no I mean, this is the best my body's felt. You know, I'm only 26. So, um, yeah, it's, luckily I didn't have to play during COVID where you have 25-year-old rookies coming in. So. Um, but yeah, no, I just got a great team around me, great team here that you really know how to take care of my body. So um, yeah, the best I ever felt, put on some really good weight, so feeling good. The fans are going to be here tomorrow. Does that change your practice at all? Yeah, I mean, it definitely brings a lot of energy, which is nice. And, um, you know, right now everyone's excited because camp just started. But when we get to, you know, kind of, you know, week three, four, five, um, you know, it can be tough to get up. But, you know, we're all professionals. and then. When they bring the energy, it obviously always helps. So, definitely really excited to see them. So what, what did it mean to you to be able to play? You know, I think every game last year, I stayed healthy the whole year. And what, what did you learn, maybe about getting through an entire year that you can do going forward? Yeah, I mean, it was, obviously it was you know a good thing to play the whole year. I think you know if you look at my injuries or the reason why I missed time, you know, it's kind of freak things. You know, it was. Uh, guy stepping on your ankle kind of out of the blue and then I got COVID so there's not you know or I broke my hand you know it's kind of just freak things so you know the injury stuff you know you just gotta you know make sure you stay on top of your body and pray so um, 
yeah, I mean, right now it's, you know, just take it day by day. And like I said, we got a really good team here and that have, uh, you know, really been helping. And, um, you know, the more you're kind of in the NFL, the more you learn what you need, what you don't need. So, um, yeah.